Hi, in this video we're going to talk about CV, aka Limited Partnership in the Netherlands. I want to show you what it is and how you can form it. If you have questions about this or anything related to CV, feel free to contact me. Let's begin. Let's talk about CV, limited partnership. It's almost the same as in uh, VOF. The only thing here is, is that you have a silent investor. So this is you, for example, and you're working together with an investor, investor, and the investor is putting money in the company. It's also a partner in the company, but you are the person that manage every day-to-day -day task. So, the thing is, it works almost the same as in VOF. So you need to have a contract. This is a contract between you and the investor. And in the contract, you put a lot of things that you agree on and also how much money X you're gonna put in the company. And you're gonna also put a lot of things about your tax, what you're going to do, what's the direction of the company, what can you do or what can you not do. So you need money to form this contract. What you also need is you need to put this company in the Chamber of Commerce in the Netherlands. When you sign the Chamber of Commerce, his name doesn't have to be in the Chamber of Commerce. But the Chamber of Commerce will say, if you have money, that's good enough to put only you in it. And with the contract, you have a CV, a limited partnership. When something goes wrong, for example, there's bankruptcy, you as owners only responsible he is only responsible for the amount of money that he put into it for example if he put 100,000 euros in it it's only liable for 100,000 100, euros that's the only thing but you can be personal responsible for the money that's missing in this company so that's the advantage for a when he's only investor with a CV and X is only a person that's running the business day to day does happen when the company go bankruptcy if you're talking about tax what kind of tax do you have to pay X need to pay income tax the same as I and if you they hire employers they need to pay employers tax so recap you need money to form agreements so you have clear agreements between you two second you need to sign the company up on the Chamber of Commerce so you can do business in the Netherlands third you need to watch out how many tax you have to pay for the government when something goes wrong with the company if the company go bankruptcy X is personal and business responsible for it and this one is only responsible for the amount of money that he put in the company this is the end of the video in this video I showed you what the limited partnership is in the Netherlands I also show you what it is and how you can form it if you have questions about this or anything related to this video, feel free to contact me. See you in the next video. Yo, you like free stuff, huh? but I don't believe in free stuff. That's always a catch. So start subscribing. Subscribe already. Subscribe. What are you waiting for? Subscribe already. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for you. Subscribe already. Hurry up. If you want more of this kind of stuff, feel free to be part of our community on Patreon. See you in the next video.